Hi everyone, so today we will discuss about another techniques of integration which is integration of rational function of sine and cosine. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to transform a rational function of sine and cosine into a rational function of another variable. And second is to use the basic identities to evaluate integrals involving rational function of sine and cosine. Another techniques of integration is the integration of rational functions of sine and cosine. So in this method, if the integrand uh, contains rational function of sine and cosine, then we make use of this substitution, u equals tangent of x over 2. And then using the double angle identities for sine and cosine, so we can derive these two equations. Sine x is 2u over 1 plus u squared. And cosine x is 1 minus u squared all over 1 plus u squared. The last equation can be derived by taking the differential of u equals tangent of x over 2 and then solving for dx. So we get 2du over 1 plus u squared. Okay, so let's have the following example. So number one, evaluate the integral of dx over 1 plus sine x plus cosine x. So because the given integrand is a rational function of sine and cosine, so we can make use of the following uh, equations or substitution formulas. Okay, so from the given, we replace dx by 2du over 1 plus u squared all over 1 plus sine x, where sine x is 2u over 1 plus u squared plus cosine x, where cosine x is 1 minus u squared all over 1 plus u squared. And then we simplify the denominator by uh, getting the LCD, which is 1 plus u squared. And then we divide the LCD by the denominator of each fraction. So 1 plus u squared divided by the denominator of 1, which is 1, is the LCD, which is 1 plus u squared times the numerator. So we get 1 plus u squared plus LCD divided by 1 plus u squared is 1 times the numerator, which is 2u plus LCD divided by 1 plus u squared is 1 times the numerator, which is 1 minus u squared. Then simplifying further, so this can now be written as the integral of 2du all over 1 plus u squared all over. You combine u squared with negative u squared, so this is 0. So we have 2u plus 1 plus 1 is 2 all over 1 plus u squared. And then by rewriting the integrand as a product of the numerator which is 2 du over 1 plus u squared times the reciprocal of the denominator which is 1 plus u squared all over 2u plus 2 and because 1 plus u squared is common so we can cancel this out so we have 2 du over 2u plus 2 and because 2 is common so we can factor this out so we have u plus 1 and because 2 is also common both in the numerator and denominator, so you can cancel this out. So this reduces to integral of du over u plus 1. But recall the formula of the integral of uh, du over u, which is equal to the natural log of absolute value of u plus the constant c. But instead of u, we will use another variable. And this time we will use dz over z which is also the same as the natural log of absolute value of c plus the constant c. So in this case, we let the variable z as u plus 1. And then taking the differentials of both sides, so dz equals du. Then by substitution, we can write this as the integral of dz over z. And the integral is the natural log of z plus the constant c, where c is u plus 1, 
plus the constancy no, from this representation. Okay, so we have this, the natural log of absolute value of u plus 1 plus the constant c. But u is, recall that this is uh, equal to tangent of x over 2. So we can replace u by tangent of x over 2. So we have natural log of absolute value of tangent of x over 2 plus 1 plus the constant c is the integral of dx over 1 plus sine x plus cosine x. So in summary, if an integrand is a rational function of sine and cosine and other trigonometric functions, then it can be reduced to a rational function of u by using the following substitution. u equals tangent of x over 2, sine x is 2u over 1 plus u squared, Cosine x is 1 minus u squared all over 1 plus u squared. And dx is 2du over 1 plus u squared.